on just when you kind of size up what you guys were able to get going there in the second quarter. I mean, for the way that this weekend has historically gone, do you yeah. feel like this was exactly what you wanted to see? Um, yeah, I was surprised. I mean, you know, that team had been hot um, and they had been kind of rolling. Um, and I, I felt Vermont kind of found themselves like any, and their coaching staff, obviously Chris and Jake on there, they do a great job. Um, they had a lot of guys coming back, you know, and, and looking at their preseason there, a lot of time, a lot of people had them in the top 20. And I think they struggled a little bit early um, and they, in a couple areas, but they, they did a great job. They kind of fixed some things, their clearing got better. And once they got it rolling, they've been on a tear. So knowing that for us, we're in exams and some guys took some yesterday, um, some last night, and then uh, there's papers due and assignments due, and then there's stuff due Monday. This has traditionally been a tough, tough uh, weekend for us, but uh, the guys did a great job. Um, obviously, Luke, um, you know, winning as many face-offs and flipping the field allowed us to kind of overcome some things because we had five turnovers in the first quarter, and that was by far our biggest number. And I give Vermont credit, their length, I think, caused some problems early, and then we got used to it. I thought the guys did a great job with it. Um, and then when you get that many possessions, and a lot of them became transition, um, and, and I'm sure John could tell you, it just gives you kind of the opportunity to get in rhythm, get into a flow. Um, so you want to certainly take advantage of that. With Viner Forgates, you've often heard the term, we make your company work. What that means to us is every ticket, every call, all the time is handled by our US-based tech support. If you are tired of waiting on hold, if you're tired of the confusion of calling for tech support, call Viner Forgates. We'll help to make your company work by taking care of every ticket, every call, all the time. Yeah, I'll ask the coach or the guys, has there been an emphasis on the ride? Because I thought today might have been your best day uh, when they try to uh, clear the ball of it, the offense and wherever possible the defense really, they were superb. Yeah, these guys, um, you know, we ask our guys to, to kind of buy into the special teams, you know, riding, clearing, um, face offs, man up, man down. And, and it's not the most glamorous thing, but I think these guys are so selfless and they're very competitive um, and they're willing to do anything. So. Again, having good athletes and guys that are, you know, really smart um, allowed us to get a few back. And again, it's a credit to these guys because they're willing to do whatever they can to maybe get a possession here or there. And those things add up uh, over the course of the game. Oh, John, you want to say? Yeah, that? I was just going to say, like, credit to Vermont. Um, you know, they, they did a great job, especially early in the game, putting the ball on the ground and forcing turnovers and put us in situations where we had to ride. And obviously, like, as an offense, you'd, you'd rather just kind of uh, have it clean, but if you're in that spot, you gotta you gotta kind of make some plays. So, you know, I, I think it was really a good job by Vermont to kind of create some chaos, and then good job by our guys kind of answering the bell and, and getting some good hustle plays. That I think, especially you know in the second quarter, I think really helped us out. Matt, you guys get a shot at Virginia in the postseason again, familiar territory. Just kind of what's your take on, on that matchup and <clears throat> chance to see them again for last year? Um, yeah, I mean it's exciting. Um, I mean pretty familiar opponent, but um, I mean we both know each other pretty well. So, I mean, we're going to need a great week of prep. They're a great team. Um, I think a lot of people kind of forgot how, how good they actually are. Um, so, definitely can't take them lightly, won't take them lightly. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to need a really good week of practice. And um, just another, glad to get another week together with, uh, with this group. Josh, thank you. Uh, Coach, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this was Ryan's first career goal, um, Ryan Sarkeesian. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, can you, like, talk about him and his, I guess, like, Goal, you know, yeah, um, and, and I will, but I think Matt would be really good to talk about. Uh, Ryan's done a great job here. Um, he doesn't get talked about a lot on game day, um, but boy, oh boy, he gets talked a lot about during the week. Um, you know, Drew Morse kind of saw that in the Big Ten Championship. You know, he was the guy the guys wanted to go get the trophy. Um, and you saw True play great again in the fourth quarter, which, you know, is not surprising because he just worked so hard. Um, Ryan is a guy that, um, is is right on the cusp of playing. Um, he spends a lot of time on the scout team, and he's typically the best guy. Uh, a lot of times the lefty, but usually the best guy. And he was 44 this week and did a great job. Um, he gives our guys fits. Um, so through all that hard work, he's earned a lot of respect, and there was so much excitement for everybody to see him score that goal. Um, but there's also a lot, a great appreciation for Ryan because I know what he's giving every single day, and I think Matt would tell you. 
um, part of the reason we're so successful are the guys that maybe you don't see in the game, but what they commit to and what they give us every day is a huge reason why we have success. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ryan, probably one of the tougher, toughest covers on the team. Um, he gives us fits in practice every single day. Uh, but just to see him get in the game, get a goal, um, a smile on his face, that was awesome. Uh, he deserves it more than anyone. Um, but not just Ryan, all the scout guys, uh, Spanos, Jordy, Witt, um, they all do a great job. And without them, uh, we, we would not be where we are right now. Kevin, I'm Matt, for um, third goal, uh, Vermont had rocketed the shot off the crossbar. You, you picked it up. Uh, I think they like flung it um, under pressure. You picked up the ground ball, and Johnson scores on the, on the next play. Just defensively, just how beneficial is it for you guys to know, hey, once we uh, can make this, make the other team make some mistakes for, for the offense to, to, to capitalize, and, and Johnson just how nice was it to bring out the left-hander? <laughs> uh, you want me first? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, yeah, whenever we can just get the ball off the turf and give it to them, it's obviously good. Uh, super talented group, so um, our job is just pick the ball up, give it to, put it in hands like him and Logan and Kyle and Tony. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that's just our job, pick the ball off the turf, mm. give it to them, and let them do what they do best. Yeah, and the lefty, I first lefty goal I scored in college, if not ever, um, you know, just – Tried to get to a good spot and swing my hands as hard as I could. So, happy well, 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 exactly. Well, so, hit perfectly. Yeah, I would love to tell you I was aiming there, but I uh, found a good spot. I took one against Rutgers last week that didn't go to a great spot, so I guess I uh, flipped the coin. There are a few moments that stood out in the game. Uh, Bubba steps on and just bottles up the Vermont uh, attack or pushes him out of bounds. How much juice does that add to you guys? Uh, yeah, you know, the, 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 oh, go ahead. I was going to say it's huge. And, you know, it feels like Bubs is uh, giving us a play like that every game. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think, you know, for all the, mm -hmm. the, the people talk about his, his skill, you know, he's a, he's a freak athlete and he imposes his will on, <laughs> on games and it feels like he's doing that every game. So, yeah, it's a juice play. It gets us going. It felt like, it, especially today, it came in a big moment. So Matt Zapatello comes down the middle and scores a gorgeous goal. What's that good for your guys? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, goals like that when polls, polls get goals, uh, that's awesome. It's a, it's a, it's a huge play. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for Ajax's first goal. Um, he was talking about it earlier this week, uh, but yeah, happy, happy he got to, uh, to get that done. And then for both of you, uh, every once in a while, Keegan Khan pulls out a magic act and did it again with a behind the back goal and a feed from Logan. Does he do that in practice to you guys? It's funny, he scored against High Point the first game of the year on behind the back, and he said, I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. uh, and at this point, I just assume he's lying because he's, <laughs> I think he's had three of them now. So yeah, yeah he pulls it out. Um, I mean, he was awesome today. Feels like he also gets smoked in every game. Gets like the biggest body check of the game every game against yeah. him. So, uh, kid's a warrior and happy he's on my team. And then when it's uh, a nice behind the back, just happy for him. Yeah. Grateful. Last one. Mustache too. Yeah, true. <laughs> Last one. Who who were the guys you were talking to after the game? Uh, so the McConvey brothers, uh, 44 and 45. I played at, at uh, in high school with them at St. Michael's uh, College School in Toronto, and then. Uh, Liam Limoge, number 46. We played. We all played junior A together at home. So the guys from my hometown, and you know, specifically the guys uh, I went to high school with. You know, my high school didn't have a long history, uh, and they had kind of started the program a few years before. So to you know see three St. Mike's guys in the game at this level, I know it means a lot to uh, the coaching staff and the guys who built that program, and obviously a lot of gratitude for for what they did for me. And uh, really happy to see Thomas and Johnny. You know. And, on this stage, and, and Thomas is, you know, a great player. So is Johnny. So just happy to see those guys. It was cool. Cool. Moment. Patrick quickly remembers Tills. So just w when you kind of look at the offensive efficiency that you've had, not just today, but over the course of the season, <clears throat> can you kind of put that into context as to how hard it has been able to achieve that um, comparatively? Because you've obviously had some good offense. This is yeah. Um, you need a lot of things, right? You got skill. You got guys that can think the game, anticipate. Um, you need versatile parts, um, guys that can play with and without the ball. Because um, a lot of times the cuts, you know, the, sometimes the cuts just come off of like a, a seal by somebody else. So that selfless little seal to get open. Um, guys that have their head up. Um, we have really unselfish guys. And I think the, the, the key to being successful with that is guys need to trust that if they give it up, they're getting it back. And if guys don't feel like they're getting it back, then they're gonna get theirs. And so 
it has to be this constant, like every day in practice, like, okay, I, I don't need to get mine right now. Like, I'll just keep it hot, keep it hot. And the hope was that each game, you, you, each guy maybe get a, gets a few more opportunities to keep people off balance. And if you more, uh, focus more on John, than Anthony, and if it's more on <clears throat> Anthony, then maybe it's Kyle. And, and Logan's kind of always the constant because I think he's kind of a lot of times navigating a lot of it because he's always out there, um, and there's a lot of attention paid to him. So um, John could probably speak more to that. It, it's hard um, because you need the skill set. You need the guys that, like, if you have one-dimensional players, it's hard to be, like, it's hard to be unscripted because your guys kind of need to stay in certain spots. like. When Matt and Colin were here, we were a lot more predictable, but those guys physically were so big and strong that you could be a little less predictable. They were great at winning matchups. They were just like really good at that, but playing the way we play now, I don't think that would suit their strengths and they're incredible players. They're just different. And I think the way we kind of saw this group, um, the guys, especially a guy like John was such a good fit coming in. Keegan the same way, um, they just, like they have such a good skill set that they don't always need the ball, but if you need them to dodge, they will. But off the ball, they'll either be picking for a guy or cutting, um, or they'll be stepping down and dodging people. And it's, it's a lot of fun to play. Hi, I'm Merlin wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think it, it comes also from, from getting stopped on the defensive end and getting out in transition. I think that's <clears throat> when we're most efficient is when we can kind of roll the lines and we're getting face-offs and we're getting stops and it's kind of like a whole, you know, it's kind of comprehensive like that. So I think it's huge when we kind of can get – especially when our defense is rolling, get our two midfield lines out there and everyone's playing and, and we can kind of show our depth and, and use that to our advantage. Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about nostalgia a little bit. John, you've only been here a year. <clears throat> to me, it seems like you've been here your whole career, all right? And Matt, you have been. Uh, how do you guys feel playing your last home game at College Park? Um, definitely a surreal moment. Uh, spent a lot of time here. Um, super grateful for everything this program has given me. Um, the people, all the lessons, the coaches, uh, all the staff. Um, but it was just good to, to go out the right way in that stadium. Um, it's been an awesome five years, but still got a couple weeks left and uh, got to take care of business. Yeah, I think surreal is the, the word I, I would use too. Um, time here is obviously shorter than, than most, but a uh, pretty cool experience. And it's been cool, especially the last couple of weeks with the Big Tens being at home and then here getting to kind of play a lot of games uh, at Maryland Stadium and kind of get that experience because you know, running out of the tunnel is one of the cooler experiences I've had. And then uh, obviously, you know, you see the, the crowd in the stands is a place that cares a lot about lacrosse and it's cool to uh, wear the jersey. Okay. Yeah, Jonathan, I touched kind of alluded to it, but after you guys got off to a good start, you know, Vermont kind of shut you guys down for the last nine minutes of the second quarter, or the first quarter, and then you guys come out and scored nine goals in the second quarter. Did anything change or just kind of like spread the field out there or offense or defense? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think they had a couple of kids who made some really good plays in the first quarter. I think that was, um, couple of just takeaway checks and you know on one hand you can kind of you know try to protect your stick more on the other hand there's not a whole lot you can do about those sometimes just really good checks so you know I think we avoided some of those and then we got out in transition won face offs and kind of got got ourselves rolling. Kevin. Coach just title game rematch come up what's the uh, message heading into the week? Um, have a great week of prep um, you know, <clears throat> kind of do what we do every week. Um, just make sure that we prepare as well as we can. Um, I think you got to be consistent with what you've done. I think everybody knows, obviously, this is defending national champions and they're champions until you beat them. So, you know, like we have to show that in the playoffs, we can do that. So we need to kind of have an underdog mentality because they are the guys that have the crown and you have to take it from them. So. Um, you look at what they did last night, those, those guys are finally healthy. Uh, I think we got them at a time that they weren't, um, and now they're good to go, and they are ridiculously talented. Um, we know that, and uh, for us to be successful, we've got to have a great week of practice to have a chance. Uh, but again, I'll always put my guys up against anybody and have faith in them. Um, I just do. I don't care who it is. 
because um, I believe in them, I know how hard they work, but we also have to realize the animal we're going against and they are really talented. Did you get a chance to, to watch the game last night or focus on? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, again, uh, I, to me, you know, you look at the eye test um, and that team, again, like a different team than we saw earlier in the year. You know, I know they had some guys that were hobbling and some guys nursing some injuries and uh, that team looked fresh and fast and healthy. Um, and very motivated. So, um, and they look like a team that, you know, for a team that just won the championship, getting sent on the road, I don't, didn't seem like that sat very well with them. And I think they went out and showed it. Just wrap things up, Dennis. Yeah, quickly building off that, um, you guys haven't had to go farther than Baltimore for a game really since, I think, Michigan a while back. Um, so obviously, you know, love playing here in front of, you know, at the home fans and everything, but, you know, how exciting is it, you know, get to go into a new venue, a neutral site, you know? high stakes uh, and just get that you know, real tournament atmosphere. Yeah, I think a couple things with that. Going to Ohio, there's at le least a little bit of familiarity have played there. So it's nice for some of these guys. Even John played out there a couple years ago. Um, what's great about our family and fans, they go everywhere. Um, Chirp Nation, like everywhere we go, um, you know, they're, they're going to be there. Um, obviously, second year in a row, we're, we're uh, playing an ACC team in a quarterfinal. Um, so scratch my head a little bit about that but it is what it is so you know as we tell the guys like you know just got to kind of take what they give you and make the most of it but you know maybe it is and feel like we had a very good year um so we have to just go out and prove to everybody that you know we deserve to, to keep going here so but um at one point i think we were slated to go to long allen and then uh, last sunday they told us we're going to ohio so um we'll just be thankful for the opportunity we have and be motivated to, to kind of prove everybody wrong. Awesome. Thank you everyone for being here. Thanks. Vermont will be in short.